Hey everyone, it's Pete with Zengang. In this article, I write about how to bring up questions that are sometimes tough to ask, but always important to you as an individual as you consider whether to take a new job. But I didn't spend any time on when, and I want to encourage you to wait until the end of the interview process. Now, you may see these questions, things like, do I have to work in the office every day? How much vacation time can I get? And if those answers aren't what you want or need in the job that you'd consider taking, then you may make the argument that it's not worth wasting your time or the company that you're interviewing with if you know that it's not going to be a good fit. But I want to offer a different perspective on that. First, go through the interview process if most of the things line up on the surface. You never really know just from a job description or an initial conversation with a recruiter whether the fit is really there. So invest the time if enough things on the surface seem like it may be a good fit because you may find out along the way that the job description wasn't 100% accurate. It's very common. It happens a lot. Or that the recruiter didn't have all of the information and the ultimate uh, answer that you get is, is different. So don't rule something out on the surface if most of the components of the job look like there's something that you would be interested in. The other reason is it's it's great experience, right? I mean, you can you know go through the process not knowing uh, whether you're going to get the offer at the end, and doing so will prove to yourself that uh, you're you're a good fit and that you're marketable and that other companies will will want the skill set that you bring to the table. And it's great experience to do. You're always better on the other side of an interview because you learn and improve along the way. But ultimately, what I think you may find out and what happens a lot in as someone who's staffed for thousands of positions over the years, we see that once a candidate decides that they fall in love with the, the opportunity or the company falls in love with the candidate, that there's a lot more things that can come on the table as negotiation points. Things like vacation days, salary, uh, other other bonuses, work-life balance, the ability to work at home. Those things all are much more negotiable than you realize on the surface. But the best time to negotiate those is once a mutually good fit has been established. And that doesn't happen till the end. So I hope that helps. Go through the process. Ask the questions at the right time. And happy job hunting.